Welcome to this episode of the Blue White Academy. My name is Bina and today I'll explain suction lift. In this video, I'll begin by explaining what suction lift is, how it works, and what affects overall suction lift. Then we'll go to the roof and demonstrate the suction lift capabilities of the C600 diaphragm pump, the CD3 dual diaphragm pump, and the A3 peristaltic pump. Let's begin by explaining what suction lift is and why it is essential to know. Suction lift is the maximum vertical distance that a pump can pull liquid from the surface of where that liquid is contained to the middle of the pump's pump head. This is important because understanding your dosing pump's suction lift capabilities is crucial for its successful installation and operation. Typical dosing pump applications often involve placing the pump directly above the feed tank, which may pose priming and pumping challenges if the suction lift capabilities are limited. Specific scenarios demand the pump to handle larger suction lifts, such as when dealing with sizable feed tanks or sampling water from depths 10 to 25 feet below the pump. A thorough understanding of the pump's capabilities and limitations become essential in such cases. Now that we know what suction lift is, let's go over how suction lift works. Here we have a tank of water and tubing. The atmospheric pressure is constantly pressing down on both the liquid in the tank and the liquid in the tubing, causing the water level in the tank and tubing to be equal. We create an airtight seal when we connect the tubing to a pump. When we run the pump, the air will be evacuated from the tubing, creating a lower pressure than the outside atmospheric pressure. When this occurs, the atmospheric pressure on the liquid in the tank pushes the liquid up the tubing towards the pump. Now that we know how suction lift works, there are a few factors that can affect the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. Elevation. As the elevation increases, less atmospheric pressure will press down on the liquid, reducing the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. Viscosity. As the liquid's viscosity increases, friction losses in the suction line will require more atmospheric pressure to push the liquid reducing the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. Specific gravity. As the liquid's specific gravity increases, more atmospheric pressure will be required to push the liquid, reducing the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. Temperature. As the liquid's temperature increases, vapor pressure will push back on the atmospheric pressure, reducing the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. Friction loss. As friction in the system increases due to piping walls or elbows, more atmospheric pressure will be required to push the liquid, reducing the pump's overall suction lift capabilities. We've reviewed what suction lift is, how suction lift works, and the variables affecting a pump's suction lift capabilities. Now, let's demonstrate the three different pumping technologies that Blue White offers. Remember, the elevation of Blue White headquarters is about 20 feet above sea level. The liquid that we'll be using for our demonstration is water. Blue-white pump output specifications are based on water. Now let's go to the roof, where we'll demonstrate the suction lift capabilities of the C600, CD3, and A3. Here we are on the roof of Blue-white. For this demonstration, we'll have all three pumps on the roof of the building, a tank of water 30 feet below with half-inch suction tubing. First, we have the C600 single diaphragm metering pump. Ready? Three, two, one, go. The second pump, we have the CD3 dual diaphragm metering pump. Three, two, one, go. And 
And our third pump is the A3 peristaltic metering pump. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now let's go back to the studio and review our findings. We've concluded our testing, so now let's review our findings. The C600 single diaphragm metering pump had a suction lift of about 15 feet. The CD3 dual diaphragm metering pump had a suction lift of about 20 feet. And the A3 peristaltic metering pump had a suction lift of about 30 feet. This has been a demonstration in suction lift using the C600 single diaphragm pump, CD3 dual diaphragm pump, and A3 peristaltic metering pump. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customerservice at blue-white.com. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue White Academy. For more information, please visit us at blue-white.com.